how you doing? Hello, everybody. It is bucket list to book day today. Whatever you call it, books I got to have. I got a list. Everybody's got a list, I'm sure, if they collect books. People that collect things in general have a list of things they want, the I want list. And I've got one. And today, the mail lady, my friendly neighborhood mail lady, delivered one to check off an item on my bucket list of books my book bucket list whatever i'm calling it is whatever it is and i have become a fan of william peter blatty's the exorcist i read it for the first time i think it was last year 2021 i read that book and since then i've collected some copies of that book well there were two two copies of that book that i really wanted they're on that bucket list of books list one of them is the Easton Press signed edition. It's beautiful. I like Easton Press books. I definitely like signed books. And their edition looks really nice because the colors fit. And, uh, and I dig it, man. That's not what I, I got today. There's also one called Lonely Road Books. On this lonely road trying to make it home. That's, the, that's a publisher that doesn't make a whole lot of books. They, they seem to publish them every now and then. And I think last year, 2021, was the most recent book that was published by Lonely Road. If you want to know all about the publisher, look them up. I'm not an expert. But I know about the publisher because they did a neat version of The Exorcist, signed in limited edition. And I have already got, this isn't the one, but I've got a PC copy of the lettered edition. And it's in this beautiful tray case, uh, leather or fake leather, a leather-ish sort of material, says The Exorcist, 40th anniversary edition. This tray case is cool. It's got a magnetic shell. It opens up here. Don't wanna dump the book out. It opens up and it's beautiful. Felt lining, nice, nice book. Uh, ribbon to pull it out and all that kind of stuff. There's the, the dust jacket of this book. This is not the one I'm here to show you, but this is one that I have and I love it. I'm glad to have it. Wouldn't ditch it for anything, maybe anything. I don't know. I want to keep it, but the, here's the issue. I love slip cases and I'm kind of lukewarm on tray cases. Here's why. When I put a tray case on my shelf, what do I see? I see a case. I don't see a book. And for me, that's, a, that's something. I don't know. So I love a slipcase book because I still see the book, but the book is in a case. You pull that case out, some you'll see artwork, you'll see cool stuff. But I like to see the spines of my book. It's just taste. I'm not saying you're wrong when you disagree with me. That's just me, my collection, my taste. That's all there is to it. But they did a numbered edition of that book, signed and limited edition. And for a long time, I've wanted one. And I finally got one in the mail. There was a person on the Fans of Cemetery Dance Facebook group. <clears throat> and that person said, hey, I used to be a bookseller, had a business, whatever was the name, got a bunch of books for sale. And one of them was the Lonely Road signed and numbered edition of The Exorcist. And that's on my bucket list of books, my books what's I gots to get. And so I jumped on it quick as I could, sent a message saying, hope it's not sold out. If it is, I want it. They listed a bunch of books and I think they've all sold except for one. But they said, hey, you're first uh, asked for it. So it's urine and it's mine's own. It's my book. So they sent it to me, priority mail, in a massive box that would protect a whole lot of stuff. Hopefully a book too. Anyway, quick shipping, got the book fast, a great big box. The USPS seemed to take good care of it. It's not all busted up. Looks like it's had an easy life in the system for the last two or three days, four days, however long it's been. But what I wanna do is open this mother up, see what my book that I've been wanting for a while, one of my bucket list books uh, uh, looks like how sweet it is and get it on my shelf anyway here's our great big box packed full of this stuff what do you call it packing peanuts popcorn 
I don't know, don't eat it. it doesn't taste good. Anyway, I'm getting it out without making a whole great big mess. And look at this, somebody went above and beyond. There's foam in the back, foam in the bottom. That's called shipping, folks. Shipping with a capital shh. They did it, they hooked me up. Let's see how the book looks. Clean up my mess before I make one. Now, all that stuff in the book's wrapped in bubble wrap. So I, odds are good that if it's damaged, it wasn't damaged in the mail. Anyway, see if I can get this open without spending too much time on it. It's like a Swiss watch. What are we gonna do? I know what we're gonna do. If you can't get over it, you can't get under it, what do you do? You go through it. Here's how we go through it. All right, here we go. Come on, we find it, we find it. I got the ends. Yeah, go savage on it. Now, don't drop anything. Get it unwrapped, and let's see how she looks. I don't want anything falling out of my slip case. That's the opening. There we go. On the home stretch now, folks. 22 miles of bubble wrap. That's protection. This book is more likely to get damaged by me trying to get it unwrapped than it is en route to me by the USPS. But great job, faithful seller. All right, here we go. This is The Exorcist. This is the 40th anniversary edition signed by the author William Peter Blatty. And there's my red slipcase, beautiful. And there's the spine. I talked about slipcases versus tray cases and how they look on the shelf. Well, this is a difference. When I, let's just compare these two. I'm not saying better or worse. I'm not saying any of that stuff. But on my shelf, on the, I got a book and I got a case and the light's so bright you can't see. You decide. Either way, what do you like better? I got them both. So I <laughs> got it all covered. Let's take this thing out. Beautiful slipcase. Beautiful. For those of you who like to put books on the shelf the wrong way, again, this slipcase is labeled on the back. 40th anniversary, William Peter Bellatti, Lonely Road. Looks good. Very nice. I'm very pleased. And my seller sent me a book that looks like the slipcase, the dust jacket is flawless and the artwork is beautiful. It looks so good. Now, I showed you the PC lettered edition already, and let's take a look at the two. Let's compare them in a little bit, a little, in a little bit. Let's compare them in some way. Here are the dust jackets. First of all, this one's wrapped in mylar. This one's not, so you got more shine. This is the PC lettered copy. See how the artwork on the dust jacket is different. I wanna open up my numbered edition, take the dust jacket off, and we'll look at the boards and such as that on both books, if I can do it without messing anything up here. Show you a little bit of the differences between the two. Again, here is my lettered edition, PC copy, my numbered edition. It's funny, this numbered edition cover looks a whole lot like the lettered tray case. And then there's the, the lettered edition. So there are some obvious Superficial differences between the two, but just a beautiful book, beautiful. Um, this has artwork by Coniglia, and the same artwork from this book would later be found in the Folio Society's edition of The Exorcist, which I also have over here. And I think I did an unboxing video of that when I got it in. I bought it secondhand. But we got red end papers. They're... Very, very thick. Here's my signature page signed by author William Peter Blatty, and mine is numbered 173 of 374 copies. So sweet, beautiful, and I'm excited to have it. This was one that I've been wanting for a while, looking for it for at the right price. Copyright 2012, William Peter Blatty, Lonely Road Books. Glad to have it. Excited. Can't wait to get this thing on my shelves. shelf. It's full of artwork, lots and lots, from the chapter dividers to other illustrations. It has some excellent artwork in here. And I'm going to try to show you some of it. There we go, man. Excellent. 
if you've uh, The Exorcist is a book that I had no interest in for a long time. I watched this movie. The first time I watched this movie was it. They came out. Uh, I think it was VHS. I don't know. They came out with the version you'd never seen before. It was a type of extended version. That was the first time I watched the movie. I watched it. I thought it was okay. It didn't blow my socks off. I wasn't too excited about it. And I never watched it again until, I don't even remember when, but I, somehow I got interested in the book. And I got curious. I watched the movie Legion or Exorcist 3 Legion. And I really liked that one a lot. I liked George C. Scott and I loved that movie. Then I went back and watched The Exorcist and I fell in love with it. And somewhere in that mix, I read the book, and I really, really liked the book. I want to say of my favorite books of all time, The Exorcist is probably third. It's hard to say, but I'll, I'll probably put it there. I loved this book. I really fell in love with a couple of the characters in it, Father Karras and Kenderman, the police detective, and I uh, just loved the book. So I set out to try to collect some of the cool versions of this book. And I don't have a first first. I'd love to have a signed first edition, first print. I don't have that one yet, but maybe one day I will. I don't want to pay through the nose. I don't want to get my pants pulled down over the price. I'm buzzing through this artwork. It's just phenomenal. But one day, if a quality version of the book comes up and the price is right and I'm there first, I'll probably get one. I also want the Easton Press signed edition that I mentioned before. And uh, I can't think of any other versions that I really have to have. I've got all the others. The Gauntlet signed edition, a signed and limited edition. I've got the, uh, the Sun Tup numbered and artist editions. Phenomenal. The number edition is signed by the director of the movie, The Exorcist, William Friedkin, which is a nice touch. I don't know. I've got some other versions I can't think of. I told you about the Folio Society version of that book already. I've got the Cemetery Dance, The Exorcist, and Legion combo book signed. What else? What else do I have? I don't know. Giving you the list of all the things I got. I can't remember them all. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I've got a signed first edition, first print of Legion that I got at a used bookstore for maybe eight bucks. Second and Charles hooked me up. <laughs> Maybe they didn't realize it, but they hooked me up anyway. And that's, uh, that's all the artwork in this edition. But I ch checked a box on the bucket list of books. The books I got to get list is just a little bit shorter. But uh, as you know, when you got those lists, when you take one off, usually something gets bumped up in its place. So the list never ever goes away until goes away. So that's, uh, that's the way it goes. And I can think of no more lies to tell, except I'm stoked. Can you tell? Say la vie, baby. I like William C. Scott, George C. Scott, William C. Scott. I like, what's his name? George C. Scott, that's right. Is it? Yeah, George C. Scott. <laughs>